Are you coming to Bonaire to shore dive? Do you plan on diving Hidden Beach? Would you like some tips and tricks to make your Bonaire shore diving experience easier and more enjoyable? Well, that's what we're talking about in this video. And we're doing it right now. Hey folks, Liz and Kevin here at the dive site Hidden Beach on the southern coast in Bonaire. This is an unmarked site and you're just gonna love it. And we're gonna tell you all about it in this, which is another in our series of videos about the different shore dive sites here on Bonaire. We're gonna show you the best place to enter the water, the best place to exit the water, if conditions allow. Liz will show you the entry and exit herself. I'll also give you the lay of the land outside of the water. That sounds like something you're interested in. We'd love to have you join our community and invite you to subscribe to our channel by taking a giant stride onto our subscribe button. Then make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll be made aware when we have new content for you to enjoy. But right now it's all about Hidden Beach and this is a beautiful site. It is a soft coral heaven. You're just gonna love it. What's really nice about this site is if you're familiar with Sweet Dreams or if you desire to drive or dive the dive site Sweet Dreams and it's just too busy, there are too many other trucks there, you'd like to have the site to yourself, you can come down to Hidden Beach or another dive site, Soft Coral Garden, you can watch that video here, and have the same experience. It's a very similar site. It's full of lush soft coral, so gorgonians, it's very forest-like, sea plumes and sea whips, sea fans. If you want soft coral, if you like to see things flowing in the waves, this is the place you need to come because it's absolutely beautiful. There's some nice hard coral interspersed as well. The reef itself, it's not a steep drop off like in the north. It kind of slopes down. There's a nice ridge in that 40 foot range. The shallows are phenomenal. Uh, good staghorn coral here, some elk horn as well. Um, so make sure you take time to spend time after your dive in the shallows on your way back in. But you're gonna love it. And I know Liz loves this marine life here. Yeah, so the things I really like about this site, you can see tons of marine life here. There are rock beauties, there are parrotfish, French angels, queen angels, you can see trumpet fish everywhere. Um, the shallows are especially great. Uh, you may see some sea anemones with uh, some cleaner shrimp in there. You may see some cuttlefish every once in a while, um, but the shallows are really great. There are a lot of things to see there. You may see some little sharp-tailed eels if you look underneath uh, some of the coral. It's a really great site. And something else to mention, most likely we can almost guarantee you you're gonna see turtles on this site. Um, so plenty of those, especially in the shadows. So great place for photography, great place for video. So come on down here, dive Hidden Beach. Right now though, we're gonna show you the lay of the land outside of the water. Okay folks, let's take a look at the lay of the land here at Hidden Beach. As you can see, there's plenty of space to park, so parking will not be an issue for you. Uh, when you come down in, we've got a video on where to park. Uh, you can either park between these two bushes or right here. You've got plenty of space, so parking is not an issue. So let's walk up and take a look at that entry. Okay, folks, you will need your walking stick here. You can see you got coral rubble. There's a big step down to get into the water. So let's go ahead and take a look at this entry. I'm gonna recommend you enter to the left of this boulder here. And let's show you that where you should enter. You've got to navigate some rocks here. It's probably best to come to this area to walk down. But you'll see an obvious place here where it comes back in a little further, that step down. But there is a step down. You'll need that walking stick to do that. Step down. Then you've got some ruts and things you need to navigate to get out to where you can put your fins on, then kick out to the reef line. Uh, the shorelines change over the years. I think a lot of folks used to enter, I'll turn this way, the big boulder in the distance sticking out. A lot of folks used to enter there. I did personally, but it's been kind of dug out and the step down is much uh, deeper now and it's just not a, an entry I, I like to do. Uh, so I'm not gonna recommend entering there. I recommend entering here. There is another entry to the south I will show you in just a second. But real quick note on the dive site, once you get out to the blue, make sure you take a compass heading off of this rock uh, before you descend, uh, then get a, a good navigational marker underwater so when you come back, you can swim straight here. You can get out anywhere along the shoreline, 
But as we've noted, this is an easier place to get in, so it's an easier place to get out. Um, with that said, I would not dive the site when conditions look like this. It's not terrible. The waves aren't that bad to swim against. But the reason I don't like it is the surf. It's really churned up and it's hard to see where you're stepping. It's really hard to see uh, where the ruts are. Uh, you've got to let the waves wash out and then it's even still cloudy and you really can't see. And you certainly can't see past those uh, that big step down. So for me, I'd wait till later in the day when the sun's higher, you probably have better visibility or when it's a little bit calmer. Right now we've got these waves and wind somewhat coming out of the south, makes it a little rougher. Uh, so I would caution you against diving when it looks like this. Make your own decision. Um, diving on Bonaire, you have to be self-sufficient, but safety first. Um, I wouldn't dive it like this, so I don't recommend that you do. Uh, so we'll come back later in the day. Hopefully it'll be calmer, and Liz can show you how to enter and exit the water here. And let's go find her later in the day and see if we can do that. But first, let's show you that other entry to the south. Uh, you may want to consider, for me, this is what I'm doing, but let's quickly go down and take a look at that entrance to the south. me a second to find it because I, I never use it anymore but here's an alternate site for you here uh, once again it's so churned up here it's hard to see but down here to the left of the, in between these two rocks you can see where it comes further in the cutout so it's a smaller step down in and then you can walk straight out however there are some rocks that are difficult to see right now there's a rock right there in the middle so you've got to step onto a rock and then down onto the shore it's slippery and it, for me it, it's just not the best entry. I know a lot of folks like to enter here because it's the step down is closer to shore uh, and you can do that but for me it's just not the way to do it especially in surf like this when you're getting out that's hitting you right there at your step. So once again uh, not the one I recommend but it's there for you if you'd like to consider it. Hey folks as I mentioned earlier in the video uh, the, the conditions at the dive site today just were not ideal for diving. Um, I recommended you not dive them when they look that way and they never got better uh, today or later in the week so we did not get to dive the site so I could not have Liz demonstrate the entry and the exit I'm not gonna put her at risk just like I don't want you to be at risk so I apologize we didn't get to include that in the video hopefully the tips uh, we provided so far have been helpful if they did make sure you give it a thumbs up we'd really appreciate that uh, and also leave us a comment but once again I didn't want Liz to have to do the entry and the exit and the conditions uh, as they are Hope that's okay with you. So for now, we're gonna gear up, get in, and somewhere else, we'll see you at the next dive site.